All right, let's balance this equation here. x squared minus 9x plus 20. And we're going to use these guidelines here to help us do that. First off, we need a skeleton equation like this. So here's our skeleton equation to guide our work. Next, we have to add the signs. So we have this negative on the middle term. If the center term, the middle term is negative, we're going to put two negatives here in our skeleton like that. Now we find the factors for the last term, that's the 20 here, and those factors should equal the middle term. So if I think of 20, I could say 1 times 20, that won't do it. 2 times 10, it's close, and 4 times 5. 4 times 5, that gives us 20, and if we put 4 here and 5 here, negative 4 and negative 5, that'll give us the negative 9. So we factored this equation, x squared minus 9x plus 20. Let's check our work using the FOIL method. First term, outside, inside, and last. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. Then we can combine these terms here, and we end up with the same thing that we started with. So we know we did this part correctly. Let's find the values for x here that will make this all 0, make this a true statement, 0 equals 0. So we say x minus 4 equals 0, so x would equal 4. Over here, x minus 5 equals 0, so x equals 5. And if you put 4 in for x and you solve this equation, all of this would equal 0. Likewise, if you put 5 in for x and solve the equation, all of this here on the side would equal 0. So we did this correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, you would get these exact same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 9x plus 20. Thanks for watching.